Uh, let's discuss this with the chairman of the Florida Republican Party now, uh, Christian Ziegler. Christian, you heard it there uh, from Nikki Fried. She says that Democrats are empowered. They are ready to hit the ground running and hoping to make a comeback in Florida. What do you think about their renewed efforts? Yeah, look, uh, last cycle, they had a $2 million campaign towards voter registration, and they actually lost, I think it was about 140,000 registered voters on the Democrat side. So throwing money at this is not going to work. Any of their efforts towards voter registration is not going to work until they actually go to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is that the Democrat Party is pushing an extreme agenda. I mean, here you have a Democrat Party. What they're pushing is stuff like indoctrinating, sexualizing, and mutilating our children. And they're openly pushing that type of agenda throughout our state and throughout our country. And voters are turned off and that's why they're fleeing the Democrat party. And we see the numbers. I mean, as you mentioned, the Florida Republican party went from, uh, we were down four years, four and a half years ago, we were down by 250,000 uh, registered voters. Now we're up by four or 543,000 registered voters. So we've had almost an 800,000 registration swing towards the Republicans. And that's because people are not buying the extreme agenda pushed by the Democrat Party. So, but to, uh, but to play the devil's advocate here, she mentioned, you know, speaking of agendas, she brought up Governor Ron DeSantis talking about the abortion ban in Florida, uh, permitless carry. Those sort of things have galvanized Democrats um, and sort of given them that renewed energy. What are the conversations within the GOP seeing that this is happening uh, within the Democratic Party, that they're getting more energy to go after Governor Ron DeSantis and some of his policies? So here's that's exactly the issue with the Democrat Party is they are speaking to a very small minority radical base. Everything they pursue, everything they put out is really earmarked for that base. A year ago, just one year ago, memories can be short, but one year ago, I was being told by the Democrats that Governor DeSantis' agenda is too radical, he's gonna lose reelection. What really happened? In 2018, he won by 30,000 votes or less than half a percent in our state. In 2022, four years later, just a couple months ago, the voters looked at his results and his agenda and what he was promising as he came in uh, for reelection and he went from winning by less than half a percent to 19.4 percent or 1.5 million votes. So I, you know, it's the same tune. They're not really changing what the root of the problem is. And again, that's the fact that the Democrat Party has become so extreme that people are looking at it and saying, look, this is not the Democrat Party of JFK. This is not the Democrat Party that my grandparents were Democrats in. And that's what we're seeing on the ground. I'm just telling you, with and we have receipts. You can see these. We're about to flip another county here in the state of Florida from Democrat to Republican. The state of Florida has never been a Republican state in terms of registration. Right. Just did that last year. So um, it just doesn't match up with the results and what we're seeing on the ground. Just a lot of empty rhetoric. And I think they're throwing money at it. They're not going to have a chance to do anything about it. All right. Christian Ziegler, appreciate you joining us. This is what we like doing here on News Nation, getting both sides uh, and letting the people at home decide. Really appreciate it. No, thanks for having me on.